All right, so I had my hood on the entire workout. Let's just reveal kind of what it looks like after weighing this all workout. What is going on my friends? Welcome back to another workout Wednesday. So I'd be lying to you if I told you I filmed this intro before the workout. So I'm gonna keep it real and let you know I did have plans to do a workout Wednesday outside, kind of same format, but it's been a while since I showed you one of my workouts. So if you're in the gym and you wanna look for some kind of something to switch it up. We're gonna work through a lot of drop sets today in a back and biceps workout. I've kind of shifted towards that kind of quote unquote bro split for the next three or four weeks just because I've been doing so much full body and a lot of cardio. So with that said, for your specific goals, if it's something that you enjoy, the bro split, we're gonna mix in drop sets, heavy weight, unilateral movements, working in that core, as well as trying to build the back and the biceps in different ways, utilizing all three grips and different angles of movement, right? There's different heads to your bicep, different muscles in your back, whether it's your mid-back, lats, whatever. I'm talking a lot, so before we get going, don't forget to like this video, comment, subscribe if you're not already. I'd greatly appreciate it. Hit the bell icon to get my videos as soon as they come out. And I'm just gonna elaborate really quick, because I said I was gonna do workout Wednesday outside, but as you can tell, it's raining here in Newport Beach. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up because of the exposure, but, I also love the rain. So anyways, we're gonna jump right into it and we're probably gonna meet right back here for a little outro. And I say that because I'm gonna film the outro right now after filming the intro at the outro. Let's get into it. I should also mention, this is gonna be a complete voiceover. I was gonna mic up, but I'll probably get copywritten if you hear the music. So I'm just gonna do a voiceover talk to you as we go. So listen along. I'm sure there's gonna be some nonsense in there as well as educational value to help you through the workout. Listen for the cues, listen for the nonsense because there's some bloopers in there and have a lot of fun. All right, let's do this thing. And here we go. So to start this day, I actually started on the incline treadmill at 3.8 miles per hour for two and a half minutes, then five minutes backwards walk. Then we got into our seated pull here with two handles. So the reason for the two handles is because I want you to really focus on using both sides together at the same time and really separating at the back. We're gonna pause right back there for two seconds. We're gonna go for three sets of 15 to initially start, squeeze for two seconds, and then drop set, super lightweight as you see here, into 10 reps. Now I think right here I actually ended up doing 12, but that's okay, we're just gonna change up the muscle confusion and get after it. Right here, then we're gonna go into assisted chin-ups and just showing you the grips right there. Gave you a little dance move, but we're gonna go into the assisted pull-up. I love this motion because you have a little extra weight to help you with these pull-ups to really, really focus on the range of motion. So really focus on that roll on the very bottom. You see, I kind of tuck my head right there and then big pull chin up all the way over the bar. Right here, we're gonna go three by 10, really focusing on the range of motion, the big squeeze. That chin up's also gonna get those biceps engaged to start the workout out. Looking good, I mean, come on. Hop down. We will go, as I said, three sets of both of these as a superset. Not going crazy weight with these, but I do want you to start with the heavier weight right here on that three by 15. Excuse me, we are not squeezing right here. We're going three by 15 with the heavier weight and then we go into the squeeze reps on that drop set, back into the assisted grip. Assistant, assistant, like a principal. Assisted pull up, chin up. Chin up, just like I said, engage those biceps. We will now go into our first, technically second working set. We're gonna go a lat pull down. As you see, I'm squeezing for a good pause right there. One to two seconds. Wide grip, you're gonna go three, for, three by 12 right there into another drop set. As I said, 
just like the opposite one, drop that weight directly into it. If you ever see me talk about a drop set, you were just changing that weight and then you're gonna go for a crazy amount of reps. So for that one, we're going three by 12 with a squeeze, heavier weight, drop, drop set down for 12 reps. We're gonna superset this here with alternating curls. Try to go big or go home right here. Get all 12 curls in on both sides. Really, really focus right here, taking that pinky all the way to the shoulder. As you can tell, I kind of flex my tricep on the very bottom of, of this movement. When you flex the tricep, you are essentially doing a tricep extension, right? So you are eccentrically contracting your tricep at the very bottom of that movement, which is going to make you, well, you're concentrically contracting it, which is making you eccentrically lengthen the bicep as much as possible. Here we go back into the wide grip overhand pull-ups. I like to think of training, especially when you're focusing on only one or two body parts for the day, to make sure you get all three grips, pronated, supinated, and neutral. So we knocked out supinated, think of like a soup. If you hold it in your hand, if you're watching me in the picture in picture, that was the chin up. Right over here is pronated, so that was overhand. Right here, this would be supinated as we have the soups in our hands. We're curling soups, right? So we're already knocking out some grips here. Again, focusing on that contraction. See the flex in that tricep come up all the way up. Really think about rotating that pinky, starting in a neutral grip all the way to the supinated. Feeling good. Can't even feel my forearms. Yeah, a little animated. Here we go, we're gonna go into a compound movement right here with the barbell. If you're looking to put on mass, compound, 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 compound. That is your best way to go. You wanna use the barbell, you wanna use the trap bar. Things, movements that use these, use, use the barbell or use the trap, bell, trap bar, excuse me, you are going to get a more bang for your buck. So here we go, we have a bent over row, underhand grip, so we're going with that supinated grip for a horizontal pull. We've already done two vertical pulls, knocking out both with the back. There's only the vertical and the horizontal. We're only gonna work this movement right here, no supersets. I did not go up in weights, I have four by 20 reps right here. I'm just training for a little bit more lean muscle. So go to a weight that should be kinda tough, 17, 16 or 17 rep, those last couple are a, a pain to get up, right? So really think about the chest being over the toes right here, push the hips back, pull to your belly button or just above the belly button. Really, really think about that chest being tall. Really think about pulling those hands, those elbows back at like a 45 degree angle. Oh, here we go, practicing a little posing. Look at the rear delts. Oh, okay, Nicholas. It's weird like doing it in front of the camera and then seeing yourself. Hey, it's part of bodybuilding though. It's, a, uh, it's an art to learn how to pose. So knock those out four by 20. You're gonna go into your next movement that we're only focusing on. You're gonna go four by 12 right here with a dumbbell pullover. Now this one can get tricky with your shoulders. I really, really want you to focus on only going down as far. You can see that lat engaging right kind of in the armpit go down just to where you feel that stretch and then come up just directly over the forehead. Notice the grip right here. It's really the main thing that's going to help you conquer that movement with that overhand kind of secure between the thumbs. As we move forward from there, we're gonna go into our next superset. Two supersets left. We've got an incline single arm row, high plank, incline single arm row, essentially. Really, really, really focus on keeping those hips square to the ground. Got a nice little bicep flex here as we go into a superset. My buddy got in the way, I was laughing at him. And we're gonna go into a bottom half to top half curl right here. So really muscle, Really focusing on the muscle confusion here. We're gonna act like we're gonna go all the way up. Boom, we don't, we change the muscle. It wants to go all the way up. Oh, just kidding, going back down. Full extension, I'm okay if you go a little heavier weight here, which is okay for that momentum, right? If you do get a lot of momentum, I want you to really, really focus on that slow, slow control down. That eccentric movement, that downward movement is really gonna help those biceps grow as well. Muscle confusion, weights, 
everything. We're kind of mixing in a lot of different techniques here in bodybuilding with the drop sets, with the, you know, the heavy to low weight um, in the drop sets, and then we're going into different kinds of moves, whether it's barbells and the time and tension. So, as I said, I want you to kind of go back to that that uh, high plank row, really think about pulling that hip pocket. For our last finisher set, we're gonna go into heavy hammer curls, go as heavy as you can, cross body curl, get some momentum in here. These are 80s, I know it's super heavy. Really focus around coming, coming across that body, almost to the opposite side, shoulder or nipple area, and really you're gonna be focusing on that neutral grip, getting into the brachii, which is that kind of golf ball looking muscle right there on the elbow. Right from there, we're gonna go into a slow rope curl. Think about keeping those knobs together to use a little momentum. Squeeze at the top, we're gonna to go to squeeze for two. It can be a quick two, just make sure you pause. Two sets of 15 right here, two sets of 10 on the alternating hammer curls. Really rep these out right here, get a good squeeze. Try to keep your core tight by squeezing your glutes. Then get a little water. You should be drinking water throughout the workout the whole time. Oh, this was the water curl. Oh, where my imagination goes while I'm working out. Oh yeah, Nikki thought that was funny. Preacher curl. We're gonna end the day with our two sets of 20 right here. This is a tri-set. We're going with the hammer curls and the rope slow curls into the preacher curl. Really rep these out. Tuck that head to keep the blood flow on top and bust it out. Have a good workout, enjoy it, burn it out as much as you can. Follow the lead and have some fun. All right, so I had my hood on the entire workout. Let's just reveal kind of what it looks like after wearing this all workout. Well, I know this is all you care about in the outro, but pretty hilarious. I hope you enjoyed the workout. If you did, go to my app at www.nickwalkerfitness.app. You can find all of my personal programs, daily workouts, at-home workouts, hit workouts, bro splits. It, like Literally anything that you can find or want to find is on there. It's kind of a little more exclusive than the free stuff that I put on Instagram. I say it's free. You get seven days free on my app, and then I think it's like, 14 bucks a month. So if you're interested, get on there, jump into it. I hope you enjoyed the workout. Let me know what you think because these are different style workouts than I'm used to doing, right? So I want to hear your thoughts, see if you liked it. If you do this workout on your own, especially leave a comment because I'm always interested to see how other people feel, especially, not especially, it sounds weird, but because I feel great and there's no other way to put it. So with that said, I'm gonna get into a little bit of posing just because I have the idea that I'm gonna do a bodybuilding competition next year, right? And I need to practice. I don't know anything about it. I actually don't have anybody to like kind of guide me right now, but I'm just kind of doing it off a of feel and how the body flows and seeing other people that I admire in the bodybuilding space. So just gonna mess around with it. We've got a cool little, uh, light up chain on aka my mic so see how this thing goes thanks for watching i'm gonna pose all right that's enough thanks for watching have an awesome free day and don't forget to smile.